They've been telling lies, telling lies about the people's money and things. There are some people that are starving to death. When you go to do what you made of, and there's no one there is left. Oh, yeah, for God's sake, you got to give more power to the people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on. Let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Need all my environmentalists to get ready and that are in the Carolinas to understand just how serious this is because this is something that's taking place all over the diaspora. All of, and that is these people are actually just destroying our environment. But more specifically, y'all in Brunswick County and Wilmington, North Carolina, y'all water contained the highest levels of forever chemicals in the U.S. The level of one of the PFA's toxin is 155 times higher than the average in blood levels of PFAs are 66 times higher. Oh. Clean water activist Emily Donovan tells the Daily Mail that people in her area are desperately sick all the time. See, a lot of these times y'all wonder what's going on in these communities. You got to understand that whenever this group, when, when this group came down from the Caucasus Mountains, in caves by their very nature was very hell-bent and just relentless in destroying our environment. I don't know if this who they are innately, but I do know this. Everywhere they have gone, disease and plagues have followed and they are known for destroying the environment. Okay, this is not the indigenous people because they don't own factories or black people. We don't own them. This is this elite group. Serious elite group. They might got a few stragglers on that um, from uh, the indigenous groups who, don't, who are outside of their nature. They don't care about the environment. But for the most part, the indigenous people worship the land. They have a, a reverence for the land. I shouldn't say worship, but they have a reverence for the uh, natural in the land. That is what the indigenous people are. The other group of people are people that are hell-bent on destroying and breaking it apart, trying to, uh, are obsessed with how it operates and um, if that means to destroy it, to figure it out, then that's what we'll do. We will split the baby down the middle. So now you've got residents of two North Carolina counties. They fear a wave of serious disease, cancers, and miscarriages as a result of decades of drinking this damn contaminated tap water. Y'all remember Mississippi? We got it up here in, in uh, where we I'm where I'm at, up here in Milwaukee, and we've had it for a long time. We had one of the, one of the very first uh, cities that uh, killed a lot of people in the, what was it, late seventies, early eighties with cryptosporidium. And then you had people in Mexico saying, "Hey, don't drink the water in Milwaukee." And our water ain't been right since, so everybody here has filters, or if they don't, they, you know, of course, buy water, uh, and then if they haven't done their due 
diligence. They could be just drinking toilet water. Now they have contaminated the waters so bad, so bad, but then they blame us for violence. This is environmental violence. I mean, experts are pointing the finger at a chemical plant in Fayetteville which they say has been dumping its poisonous chemicals into the Cape Fear River Basin that serves as primary drinking water supply for over 1.5 million North Carolinians since the 1980s. The only issue came to light in 2017, when residents and local doctors started to join the dots and come to terms with the many cases of severe and sometimes fatal illnesses, illnesses that they were seeing. Brunswick County native and public health activist Emily Donovan told the Daily Mail, people were sick all the time, and I'm saying desperately sick. A 2020 analysis of hundreds of blood samples taken from the people in Cape Fear River Basin appeared to confirm their fear. It showed that those in the area had levels of forever chemicals. Forever chemicals, not. Forever, ever. That means it'll never go nowhere. Or PFAs in their blood at the levels of 66 times higher than what the government says is safe. Uh, they've been doing it to us for a long time, y'all. They've been doing it. Des destroying us slowly. And then they wonder why people are skeptical. Because you allow these corporations to set up shop and send poisonous gases and waste and pollution into our waters. And then you set these, let these companies run shop and set up in the, uh, uh, the toxic fumes in the poorest areas. Wilmington County cancer is 8% higher than the U.S. average, and the cancer deaths are 17% higher than the U.S. average. <laughs> yeah. For the love of money. For the love of money. These people have pretty much destroyed the environment. Destroyed the environment. And then you don't have to worry about who's wearing a, a drag outfit to the school. Because there ain't going to be no people left. Anyway, the 10 worst cities for uh, PFAS in a drinking water is number one, um, Brunswick County, North Carolina. Number two, Quad Cities, Iowa. Uh, three, Miami, Florida. Four, Bergen County, New Jersey. Five, Wilmington, North Carolina. Six, Philadelphia, PA. Number seven is Louisville, Kentucky. Number eight, New Orleans, Louisiana. Number nine is Charleston, South Carolina. Ten, Decatur, Alabama. Um, let's get it together, people. Let's let the environment, the environmentalists put the heaviest pressure on the people in that state. I mean, because you, you, you're not going to be able to feed, think you can feed any kind of babies with breast milk 
when you drinking this. So you bring them, you gonna bring them in with all kinds of of problems. Hmm. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this. How is the water in your state? I mean, let's talk about it. How is it? Do you do you drink tap water? Do you boil it, or do you just buy um, bottled water? Let me know. I'm interested. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel, and I will see you in the 